Are these handcuffs really necessary? I mean, after all, I am not a violent man. Oh, yeah. If we legalize rape and murder, that puts you right up there with Gandhi. I don't deserve this. You know something, Lawrence? After what you did to my niece, you're lucky you're not hanging by those cuffs from the ceiling. What was about to happen in that hotel room was completely consensual, and you know it. Nothing that you ever do with anyone is consensual. Oh, that's what this is about. You're jealous. Put a sock in it, Lawrence. You OK? Natalie, I'm just uh, finishing up your complaint here, then we'll take your statement. I hope you're here to explain to these kind people that uh, what was about to happen in our honeymoon suite was merely what God intends to happen between the newlywed husband and wife. And I most certainly never forced you to do anything. Did I? Think back on how you were dressed when these good people came bursting into the room. I hope no one is suggesting that I forced Natalie to put on that negligee. No, Mitch, you didn't physically force me to do anything. Well, there you have it. But you did threaten Christian's life if I didn't do exactly what you wanted. Is that right, Lawrence? Did you make that threat? Of course not. Natalie is my wife, and I love her very much. You're such a liar. You've been threatening Christian since day one. I mean, first, you, you bring Allison Perkins into the jail with poison, and then when that didn't work, you bring, in, you bring in this drunk who's actually really not a drunk. He's just one of your followers. My goodness, I can barely keep up. A poor, deranged mental patient with poison Sober drunk, what's next? Heavenly hounds from hell? We know that Allison Perkins was one of your followers, Lawrence. We also have a record of how many times you paid her a visit at St. Anne's. Is it a crime to visit an afflicted old friend? No, but it's a crime to threaten a man's life. Why would I threaten Christian? He's the violent one. As you may recall, he nearly beat me to death at break bar. And next time I will. Commissioner, did you hear that? The man just threatened my life again. Hmm? I didn't hear anything. Neither did I. Chris, did you say something? All right, I'm through discussing this. Either charge me right now or get me out of these handcuffs. Charge me or unshackle me. That's funny. You don't look like you're in control here, Mitch. If I have to call an attorney, I assure you there will be a lawsuit against you and against the city. Call anybody you like. You lost. Yeah, and if you think that I will ever sleep with you, then call a psychiatrist, too. The reason you can't charge me is because you have no proof, and you have no proof because there was no attempted rape. As a matter of fact, Natalie put on that negligee deliberately to entice me and arouse me. She was begging for me to make love to her, to fondle her and caress her. Bring her to the height. Enough, that's enough. Okay, folks, let's step outside for a second. I want to talk to you. Once again, I stand here helplessly while my life is threatened. He's unbelievable. That guy's a creep. All right, look. <clears throat> I hate to say this, but Lawrence is right. We have no evidence. But he... It'd be your word against his, so we wouldn't have a case. Now, I can hold him for a couple more hours, you know, for questioning. But I'm gonna have to cut him loose then. And then what? And then I figure he's gonna start looking for revenge. So Natalie can't be anywhere around. OK, all right. I tell you what, sweetheart, let's just go home to Lanfear. No, I don't know that that's a good idea either, Vicky. If he can infiltrate our jail, then he's not going to have a problem with Lanfair. We're going to have to make sure that you are someplace that he can't find you. What do you mean, run away? No, no, no. I'm talking about maybe like a little disappearing act. At least until I can get enough evidence against him that'll really stick. Yeah. Always right, you know. You won't be safe if Mitch can get to you. All right. I'll go away. I'm going with you. OK. I'll make sure of that. Thanks, Christian. I got to go get my coat.
Well, I hope that little confab produced something tangible. My patience gets a little, uh, well, limited, let's say, when I'm treated like an indigent. What's going on here? Wait, wait, where are you going, Natalie? Somewhere. Yeah, don't bother to look. You won't find her. Don't you dare. Do you hear me, Mrs. Lawrence? Don't you dare walk out on me. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Leave right now if you want to beat the storm. There's going to be a police escort. You stick with them. I wish you two were free of Mitch Lawrence. As soon as I know that they're safe, I'm going to fly to D.C. Now, I've got an old friend down there who works with the FBI. He's going to come up with any and everything that he can on Mitch Lawrence. Thank you. Vicki, we're going to get him. Thanks so much, Pop. Sure. I'm going to miss you, darling. Me too, Mom. Me too. Thank you um, for keeping me from staying. I am never, ever going to let that man hurt you again. It's time. I've got to release Mitch Lawrence. It's really coming down out there. Are you sure you can see okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just following the cop ahead of us. Every mile we go, we get further and further away from Mitch. Yeah, well, where we're going, we won't need to worry about that creep. You know, I hope we get snowed in. You know that feeling? Safe inside with the world and a blanket of white. Can't wait to be alone with you. I'm gonna keep you safe now. I'm not gonna let Mitch or anyone else hurt you ever again. You were being held for questioning. And now I'm out of questions, so I guess you're free to go. Where's my wife? Your wife is gone, and you are never going to see her again. There's a big storm coming into town, and every cop in my jurisdiction is going to be out there tonight, making sure that everybody's safe, especially Natalie. You're making this far worse for her than it needs to be. You are never going to get anywhere near my daughter again. You will pay for this. You better get out of here before you threaten your way right back into jail. I woke up in one of us was crying. I want you. This is the voice of the night coming at you from the heart of the storm. Hell of a night out there, isn't it? Wire tells me this is gonna be the storm to end all storms. But if you ask me, this is only the beginning. to live.